my name is Ross Idris Walter, and I'm a poet from Jamaica. I've been doing poetry since the early 80s, about 1985, while I was in Jamaica, migrating to the United States, and while being a radio disc jockey, I developed, you know, the artwork, the art more there, you know, speaking and all of that. So I decided to take it to the stage, and from there, so I, you know, grow and grow and grow, and here I am now. Yes, I'm the author of a book called the Brutal Truth. You know, that was the name of my radio program also, The Brutal Truth. You know, but that book is off the market now, but it will be back. You know, because I took a break from poetry for a while, and now I'm back. I'm booked right now too, you know what I mean? Yeah, Rasta, like, Father. Every weekend, so many different places, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, Rasta. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So if you guys want to know anything, ask me, man. Yes, ask me, ask me. so, so, um, can you let the people know how can they reach the eye? Like, if people need to follow you, what social media you have, you know, if you have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you know, let the people know because the message that the eye sending is very important, especially in this world of today. People need those kind of words because a lot of people living in distress. So, let the people them know how they could reach the eye. Oh, yes, my Instagram is Ross Igos Molta. Um, because some of the people might have in a time spell it, so can you spell it out for them also? Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, the name is Ross Igos Molta. That's for my Facebook and my Instagram. So, um, YouTube is also the same thing. So it's R A S space I G U S M O U L T O N. That's Ross Igos Molta. And that's all my, that's the handles on all my social media platforms. Okay. Yeah, I also have a social media platform called Caribbean Magazine. Yeah, that's my platform also. You know? Okay. Yeah, man. So can you give me maybe a 30, 40 seconds of your poetry, some the performance, because your performance was well in there, trust me. Everybody yes. loved the performance. So can you let the people get like 40 seconds of your performance? No problem. Yes, sir. And it's dedicated to the woman. And as today is, ne is Negus Day, I still want to highlight Empress Menem because she was a part of the Isle Selassie Balance. Yes. So it goes like this. Woman, I honor you for all that you do. You are the source of life, great and small. You gave birth to all. You are wonderfully created, perfectly designed. Greatest thought from the Creator's mind. Woman, I honor you. Woman, I honor you. Her creative abilities are such. Give her masculine energy. She'll add her feminine touch. And she's not just for romance. She's the counterweight that will give you balance. Give her a house, she'll give you a home. Give her dough, she'll give you bread. Give her grief, you might as well be dead. Woman, I honor you. So, we living in a, a perilous time right now where a lot of the youths, they are suffering from lack of knowledge and lack of education about nature, about creation. What advice would you give the youth them of today? Well, the advice wouldn't even be for the youth them of today, you know. The advice would be for the parents of the youth them of today. You know, teach the children a knowledge of self. You know, teach, put God back in the school. You know, and... Yes. 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 So we have to put God back in the school. We have to teach the children knowledge of self. Yeah, fire. Yeah. Yes, as I was saying, you know, we have to put God back in the school. Because right now the, the, the children is like not accountable to anything or anyone. You know what I mean? And the, the parents have to really teach the children knowledge of self. Let them know where they're from, their, their, their religion. Even let them know, you know, their mother language, their, their tongue, their mother tongue in their own language. You know, let them know where they're from. Let them know who they are. Let them know where they're going and where they're supposed to go. Give them some sense of direction. Because right now there is no direction. Because, because the world is so upside down. Everybody is focusing on other things. And the youth them. And the real thing that they need to focus on is not being focused on. So, and that is a problem. Do you think the schools are playing a lot for the children? For knowing of themselves and knowing of nature and of creation? The, the schools are playing that role right now? 
Yes. Well, listen. The youth them, the schools, teaching the youth them good and bad. You see, well, they, number one, they teach the children to work for another person or for a corporation. They don't teach entrepreneurial shit. That's, that's what. How did we become their slaves? When we gave the world science, mathematics, they were living in caves. When we studied hydrodynamics, controlling the flow of the Nile River, they were cannibals eating each other. How did we become their slaves? When we gave the world religion, the Sphinx, the concept of God, the old pantheon, when we made the connection between the gut, the heart, and the head, we even went as far as to mummify the dead. How did we become your slaves? When we lived in civilized societies, they were jumping from tree to tree like monkeys. We built pyramids, Imhotep making medicine and such. They were still making primitive sounds while drinking blood from human skull cup. How did we become their slaves? When we invented shoes and the drums that transmit news, they were running around their feet with claw-like fingers and canine teeth. How did we become their slaves? There is nothing new under the sun. All this technological advancement we have done. Miseducation by design was fed to you. Mansa Musa finance Mecca and built Timbuktu. How did we become their slaves? When we came from the land of the rising sun, the cradle of civilization, the land of gold and of wealth and toll to be brought and sold on the option block as livestock, how did we become your slave? Man, rise up to your former glory. So many times we told the story. Sisters, rise up and lead the way. It seems like your your poetry, to music, the people dance, but they don't hear the message. So I try to, you know, minimize the music and do it a cappella so the people hear the message. So at the end of my poem, when a person can tell me a line from my poem, because sometimes people do poetry, you know, and you know, people say, Ray, and it's forgotten. But I like to do the poem that at the end of my poem, the people can remember what I was talking about. Or even days after, even when they see me a year after, they remind me that you talk about the woman and the ballads. Rastafari. Yeah. Yes, I. So, so, can the eye speak on the balance? Because before the eye perform, you was just mentioning about the balance with his imperial majesty and empress menin where they trod as the balance they set the example he always trod with the queen you see so the women are our first teacher these women are our first nurturer they are the ones who cuddle us they are the ones who hold us they are the ones who teach us. So we have to make sure we trad with the Empress them. The, the, the thing is, there aren't much written about Empress Men. You see, and I don't know if it's by design or it's deliberate. But what happened is that we are living in a patriarchal world. Yes, sir. And the woman is being suppressed. And it, it, it comes from the church. It preach from the pulpit and a lot of ones and ones adapt that kind of principle and suppress the woman you know they said the woman have to wear covering over her head you know what i mean and if you don't wear it then you are less than religious you know what i mean so that is suppression and oppression on the woman the woman have a period she cannot do certain things and do certain things and i hear muta baruka say at a long time he said that um you have some man when the woman at that time of the month they won't sleep with the woman they won't eat from the woman you see but they will go to the Chinese restaurant and order food and the Chinese woman who don't even care about his culture and what he believe in you know he don't even consider what that woman is or what time of the month for that woman is but he eat but the woman at home that's supposed to give him balance he shun her and he suppress her and oppress her yes sir yes. give thanks so, yeah, ma, we give need thanks yes sir yes sir yes sir In the name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Elia King Selassie, and, and, and Empress Menem. Yes. Now, I notice, you know, balance. All the virgin them come and we 
people I can talk about Iris Lassi and the coronation, which is good. But Iris Lassi never left out the Empress, and Jackie, you know that too. <laughs> you know that too. Balance. The Empress is balance. Yes. All right, so this one is about the Empress, Megan. Yes. No, it's called Woman, I honor you. Sister Gafunia, see you. Yes. Woman, I honor you for all that you do. You are the source of life, great and small. You gave birth to all. You are wonderfully created, perfectly designed. Greatest thought from the creator's mind. Woman, I honor you. Her creative abilities are such. Give her masculine energy. She'll add her feminine touch. She's not just for romance. She's the contact weight that gives her balance. Give her a house, she'll give you a home. Give her dough, she'll give you bread. Give her grief, you might as well be dead. Woman, I honor you. She was your first teacher. She taught you to walk and talk. She was your first entertainer. She sang you lullaby. She was your first responder. She came running every time you cried. She was your first doctor, tended to you when you were sick. She was your first counselor, gave you directions when you needed it. Woman, I honor you. This patriarchal world done everything to curtail a woman. Politics and religion are weapons of woman suppression. To mother nature, she has a direct connection. Ever heard of woman's intuition? Push your woman down, you push yourselves down. Lift your woman up, we all will be lifted up. Woman, I honor you. Even when she's old and gray, and no more the object of pleasure that men desire. She's a woman, she's a mother, she's that precious treasure. If she's bent or lame, remember her name. Respect the womb from whence you came. Woman, I honor you. Woman, I honor you. Woman, I honor you.